Hey, how is it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. We are here at Bug Light Park today. There is quite a turnout of cars. And we're gonna go walk around and just show you guys what showed up real quick. All right, so we got a pretty cool little Volkswagen uh, Rabbit on this side. Some sort of like, kind of like a little wide body kit on this thing, the fender flares and everything. I don't know if that's factory. That definitely looks like it was an add-on, but it looks pretty good. Man, what a clean all debadged white vinyl top, white, oh, white seats and everything. Wow, that's sweet. A five speed. And right over here, I think is an 81 Corvette. The big spoked wheels. Man, the T-tops too on a day like today are perfect. Another cool fact about this car is it's one of 400 in this combo and one of 100 built in Germany and sent on over. So this is a really cool car to see actually. I feel like every time I see a Thunderbird, they are not styled like this at all. I thought it was gonna be a 55 Ford. Check the back and the plate says 56, but it's a custom line Thunderbird. I mean, look at that, look at that little emblem. We're right by the airport, so planes are flying though. But just pretty, pretty cool to see that kind of thing. All the Ford emblem straight lines all the way to a v8 emblem on the glove box and i mean right after this they changed this car up drastically i mean this became a whole nother car but pretty cool to see just wanted to give you guys a quick walk around in this uh this buick i love the details the color so old school wow oh it's a roadmaster Man, I love the look of that. Look at that dash too. All your all your instrument panel goes all the way through the whole other side. It's just like one big cockpit. Wow. All right, guys, you gotta see this beautiful Camaro. This is not your typical Camaro, that is for sure. Here's the interior, the Braum racing seats. And bam, the focal point of the car, the seven liter LS7 supercharged V8. Ooh. That is a nasty car. Seriously. And I mean, the paint is flawless. I love these wheels. He swapped these up from last year and I'm a pretty big fan of those to be honest. So it's pretty funny seeing a lot of these like 70s land yachts. We got the Newport, I mean the Cadillac, the Chrysler 300s, and it goes all the way down. I mean, these cars are huge. <laughs> Definitely uh, featured them all in videos before, but just wanted to show you guys them all lined up together. It's a New Yorker. So we are right by the airport, but I mean, it does not do it justice on how low that plane is right now. So right over here is a 1962 Volvo PV 544. Dual car rated, pretty simple four cylinder. And I'm rebuilding the motor. I love the way the hood opens on this, so that reverse it. Oh, and the red interior, that's nasty. back look at the car here it's a b18 sport so right over here is a little french car we got a citroen sm the v6 pretty wild little setup right here i didn't think there was all wheels right wow oh and it's all wheel drive i heard that's wild look at the way the shifter set up man pretty cool dash I'll walk back here now. You got the big fender skirts. Oh, look at the rear end of this car. I mean, this thing just looks like a little UFO going down the street. So this is pretty sweet. Another unusual car. It's a 1951 Kaiser Deluxe. Just cool to see. Oh, look at the way the speedometer is set up. It's just one gauge above the steering wheel and there's nothing else. 
not too too many of these around and check out that way that window dips right in the middle in the back here a dodge cornet pulling out right now that sounds nice so right over here we have a 1949 ford custom station wagon it's a wood paneled car wow got about three rows of seats back here that is wild look at these big i mean these big wooden doors so sick All right, so I'm gonna blindly walk into these two Mini Coopers and show them to you guys real quick. Oh, the four cylinder in these are really, really, really small. I mean, just for a size comparison, that alternator is like half the width of that engine. The flares down the side, right hand drive, really cool. And there's one right here as well. Love the decals. Oh, I love this black and red interior. Wow. The seats have such a sick design, especially on those door panels. <laughs> the wheels say mini life. Wow. Always had a always had a cool spot for these. These are some just always really cool looking cars. And right next to these is a uh, another Trans Am. Wow, check this thing out. Oh, it's a Rambler. Right over here is a 1954 Hudson Hornet Special. Oh, that is sweet. Man, you'd almost think this thing is chopped. It's got such a, it's just got such a small roof line, but I think, I think that's the factory roof, roof line. I don't think that is a chopped by any means. Wow. All the chrome accents on this car are so nice. Oh, and you got handles back here for your passengers in the rear. It's so funny. Always, always, always loved the Hudsons. Right here is a 1966 Mustang, all original, 289, four barrel carb. Beautiful, beautiful car. It's got the pony seats. It's like one of my favorite things in these Mustangs is the horses on the back. Wow. All original interior, all original paint. Beautiful color for this car as well. It's kind of like a like a brightish orange. So you can check out all the memorabilia right here. This is a 1977 Ford station wagon with the wood paneling down the side. Oh, it's got the flip headlights in the front here. Really, really cool car. A lot of little designs and everything as well, but something I really wanted to show you was these back seats. Not too common to see nowadays. So this was a bought new, kept in the family, 1984 Monte Carlo. Another all original interior paint car. It's not too often you see that around here because where we live, we get a lot of salt, so. Big props for keeping this car so nice all these years. Pretty sweet rat rod. So we've got some pretty beautiful cars over here. Got oh, this older Thunderbird. I actually was just talking to him about their wheels. There's some 2005 to I think 09 V6 Mustang wheels. Give this car a pretty good look with those spinners as well. And right over here is a 33 Pontiac convertible coupe. And lastly, I'm a huge fan of this 1926 Ford doctor's cab. Not something, this is really not something you see all that, all that often. Wooden spoked wheels. Wow. And I love this custom Buick. Always showing this off in videos. It's the SC Rambler with a 390. Oh, I love the color of that block. The red, white, and blue. This is probably going to be the cover cover uh, photo for the video. Just because it's fitting for the 4th of July. 
they had another uh, street rod right here. This one's an old Ford. Wow. Love the color on this too. Coming through, they all look so good though. 